Hello guys, this is Mayen and this is the latest cake that I've made. It is a kind of a fairy tale garden, um, a wild garden inspired cake and it's for the first birthday of Erin. She's also one of our goddaughters and this is our gift for her. Um, she sent us an invitation with a Tinkerbell um, character on front of it so I adapted uh, the colors of the invitations and I put that on the flower that Tinkerbell is sitting on and I tried to um, copy a bit of Tinkerbell I haven't put on the wings yet but uh, we'll do that later I also had other plans uh, in making the cake but as you know when you when you're already making it um, some of your initial plans will not work and you'd have to work around with what you've got so now to me this really looks like um, kind of a a wild garden because it has um, lots of flowers some ladybugs a uh, dragonfly a butterfly and um, some tiny tiny butterflies at the back these two characters that I have up front were supposed to be on the cake, but when I put it there, it's like they didn't belong there anymore because there was too much going on. So I wanted the cake to just be full of flowers and small friendly creatures and little Tinkerbell um, as the topper. So I put them out here <laughs> to kind of guard the cake and say hello to all those people who are going to look at the cake tomorrow and tomorrow um, is that is the actual birthday and I'm, I'm taking this video at night that's why um, I think the video doesn't even give it justice because the colors are much more vibrant than what I'm seeing on the camera but let's move closer so that you guys can see the details I put in tons of luster dust because it's a fantasy theme so it's purple luster dust um, for the name Erin and the board also has silver luster dust um, for you guys who are having trouble putting the luster dust on mix the luster dust with either vodka or vanilla extract which is what I do and I use that as phase one and then before it dries I brush on the dry powder again so that it's going to stick real good and it's, it's going to have that nice solid um, shimmer that I'm looking for and for the most part I didn't animate the bugs or the butterfly and, and the dragonfly there um, just so that the focus will be on the huge flower topper and on Tinkerbell so to give you guys the top view of the cake that's it so Tinkerbell is actually sitting on a, a flower so that's why all the flowers are supposed to look big because they're tiny fairies and I also purchased a mold from eBay so the small butterflies have tiny imprints on them the ladybugs I just made them by hand and I think the lesser dust is creating some sort of um, shading here but doesn't look nice on the camera but um, here it's creating a nice shimmer effect for me so there are flowers all the way around random flowers and random leaves and I also didn't put the cake in the middle because I wanted more space for the flowers um, I still have a couple of ladybugs but I didn't want to overwhelm the whole cake with them <laughs> it's gonna look like the cake is crawling with ladybugs so I'm just gonna leave it up to Kathy her mom if she wants to use them or not but um, here you guys go it's a fairy tale wild garden inspired cake a Tinkerbell cake for baby Arian and I hope you guys like it so Erin, happy birthday from Ninang, and I will see you tomorrow. You guys take care and have a great day.